Imagine this, okay? I'm going to be a little outlandish for a second. Imagine this. Bro, this is nuts. I want everyone in my office to hear this too, man, because this, is this shit's crazy. So cassava is trading at 28 bucks, right? What if you bought the 20 cent... All right, what if you bought puts for 20 cents? Feel me? You feel me? Watch this shit. Historical fundamentals data for equities is a non-professional. Look, when we're done, Godel is going to be the AWS of finance. Every kind of data, everything at a reasonable price, no stupid one price subscription for everything. We currently, by the way, have one price for everything, but we will change that over time where ideally you get what you pay for kind of thing. All right, so let's get back to my imaginary scenario. The price of cassava right now is like 28 bucks, but the price after failure, okay? And I'm, I'm about to put, put you on the game, bro. I'm about to put you on the game. I'm about to teach you how to become rich, all right? And that, you know, quite frankly, I care about my colleagues more than I care about you guys because these are like my brothers. I want them all to see this because this is, this is some screlly shit right here. This is primo shit, something I learned over a long period of time. When this company's fake drug is exposed for being a fake drug, because it appears to be a fake drug, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm at least 50% sure. This drug doesn't work. The stock's gonna go from 28 to four, all right? <laughs> 28 to four. Now let's say you bought these 25 puts. Right now they're 20 cents, but you know, they expire in fucking, when do they expire? In three days. But you don't know when it will be revealed that this shit is fake. It could be fake tomorrow. It could be fake next month. But let's say, by Friday, it's proven to be fake. Very unlikely. Very unlikely. But let's, let's see what happens if, if it's the case. Now remember, puts are traded in 100 lots. So it's $20 to buy one of these things, okay? But what is the value of a 25 put? It is $21. So you would turn $20 into 2100 2100 okay and INCF kind of over long term become the same thing okay so that's 100x <laughs> now again the chances that this thing the house of cards falls by Friday is, is almost nothing but imagine you take a little 20,000 you buy a thousand puts Yeah, I'll look at that, Royce. We'll look at that in a second. Um, that's a good question. We'll definitely look at the phase two studies. Open label studies, as you know, are not very valuable. Placebo controlled studies are the, are the standard, but um, we will absolutely look at that. Any clinical trial ever, we have to look at really carefully. Stop looking at this, the background. Somebody, this guy Wojciech, probably a computer science genius is looking at, what are you scraping in the background, Martin? Don't worry about that. Scraper Chad is in the building. This is you, Wojtek. You're a virgin API consumer. You need everything in JSON, perfect payload. You follow the terms of service. This shit can't stop me. I'm parsing with regex, baby. <laughs> can't stop me from scraping. Unless you want to take your website down. I'm just kidding, boy, check. Yeah, I like that, J-Locks. Buy $20 every week until it works. So... Thank you, thank you. Um, so, that's August expiry. Let's look at the September expiry. 
This is not the September expiry. This is actually the September 6th expiry. And let's look at the 15 puts again, or the 25 puts. They are 75 cents, significantly more expensive. But again, the value stays the same. It's going to be $21. Would you like to turn 75 cents into 21 bucks? Yeah, I would too. Now, whenever I've, that's happened to me in the past and it's happened, you basically, are, you get lucky. Beautiful soup, shout out to beautiful soup. Soup. Uh, Axitol, the devil's in the details. Depends on how much you think they'll grow or not grow or whether they'll reinvest the capital. So, Whenever that's happened to me, it's, it's generally been luck, right? I don't know for sure that it's gonna happen, but five puts, then you have the nine, 96, 20 puts. These are 10 cents. The 20 puts are 10 cents and they would be worth $16, right? worth $21. All right, so will this all crash by September 6th? We don't know. Will it all even crash by Christmas? Let's take a look. What are the prices? The more time it takes, the prices go up insane. In fact, the prices are really high because Wall Street's pretty convinced. Eventually, it's going to crash and burn. So here's the December 2024 25 puts. They're $11. Isn't that crazy? 25 puts only going to 21. That means Wall Street thinks there's at least a 50% chance that this is all going to hell by Christmas. And there's no guarantee that's the case. No reason that can't happen in January or February. So there's a really, really high likelihood this will fail just based on the market pricing. Now the market's not always right. The market's always right. No, the market's not always right. But let's see what the 20 puts are priced at. So the, I don't know that e there is, a, is even a trade here. I think factor investing is fact, not fiction. But you have to be, it's like anything else, the devil's in the details. So the market's pricing the 50-50 failure by December. Yeah, we looked at the uh, the fraud, Jesse. Were you one of the the guys that did the cassava fraud thing? Yeah, there he is, Jesse Brodkin. Welcome, uh, welcome, Jesse. One of the whistleblowers or researchers that uh, exposed this shambolic charade. Shambolic is a word that um, Remy once used. I'm guessing that's the illusion there. I'm sitting here just shocked that Remy would quit. I know Remy. Remy was my old boss's college roommate. Um, you are not taking into account the worth of the company. Listen. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe you're not talking to me. I do mentor people that have a lot of potential. They're all around me. They're around me as we speak. Um... So I, I met Remy 25 years ago. Um, he's a nice man. I don't... Uh, I don't... Um, have anything against him at all. In fact, I like him quite a bit. He was... Uh, every time I... talked to him or whatever, he was good-natured, like I said, he was college roommates with my old boss, who was one of the most successful hedge fund managers. And, um, you know, Remy was a sort of shrewd entrepreneur. But the fact that he quit, Remy's not the kind of guy to quit. And he didn't have a He didn't have a 
quote leaving the company that he'd, he'd been at for 25 years? I think that that's a good point, Jesse. Um, I can only take my dealings with the guy at face value. Um, pain therapeutics is kind of my experience with Remy. But again, it's, it's shocking to me that he'd resign from the company he started, I want to say 30 years ago, without even a comment. Would you do that? I wouldn't do that. I didn't know the CDO was his wife. I've been out of Remy's circle for a long time. I actually, interestingly, the last time I talked to Remy, no, no shitting, is I had started my drug company and I'd been look, you know, dialing for dollars, looking for investors. And I called Remy and he said, what's the valuation? And I said, uh, 20 million pre-money. And he was so aghast at that. He thought that was way too much. In fact, I should have the email somewhere. And he was upset at that. And then of course my company goes public and it's worth like three or 400 million two years later from 20 million pre-money. Um, so he might, he might've missed that one, but regardless. This is the weirdest press release. This is like the press release before impending doom. I love this is this is not the press release you write. Single-minded commitment to scientific rigor and honest transparency. Our sole mission at this time is to determine whether simu simuflam, I really have to learn how to pronounce this, simuflam is effective. That's the way I would red light that. Just is effective. That's it. Instead they wrote, whether simiflam is an effective revolutionary treatment for Alzheimer's disease. Come on, bro. You already got people getting indicted. <laughs> just, just chill, you know, with the revolutionary. Stop, stop the bullshit. This company is addicted to bullshit. <laughs>